What is our motto, sis? Do it until you get it, bitch. <laughs> What's up, kitty? This is your favorite Quintus Kukia. Why are we doing this right now? Because we forgot. <laughs> and our cutie's gonna kill us. Ooh, where are we? Where are we? So this is actually the studio where we took all of our Farfetch project photos. Uh-huh. If you have seen from our Instagram cutie. <laughs> so we booked this studio because today we want to explain to you cuties how we take and pose for our Instagram pics by ourselves. Self. So we're gonna go detail you about all the gears and tools that we use to take photos for ourselves and also some like pose that you have to do yes. for a certain type of outfit. Yes. So we're gonna literally take an Instagram photo with you cuties. A lot of you cuties have been starting to ask us like some tips on how we take our Instagram photos. Mm -hmm. Like when it comes to Instagram photos cuties, like I'm very strict. Oh yeah, by the way, I edit the photos and take care of Instagram for those two cuties. Usually for all the photos, I'm the director and like the creative one behind the scenes, so... <coughs> Whatever. <coughs> oh my gosh, sister, thank you. You're a good manager. Thank you. You're so I use this app called UNUM. So this is like a really good app for you to like see ahead of how it's gonna look like on your Instagram feed yeah. before posting it. Yeah. And we always tell our cuties like treat your Instagram as like one of your portfolio. portfolio. Yeah, so this is where we kind of show like our <gasps> sense of fashion. That's why we always have like this very serious. <laughs> yeah, one thing about our cuties yeah. is like we're so crackhead on YouTube, but when they go to our Instagram, they thought we we're like really bitch mean and yeah. beach girls because we always like. <clears throat> so there are four things that we always emphasize when we take photos. First, always set your camera down below. Don't take some photo like this. What the fuck is this? You either do like this, or if you're generous, go like this. <laughs> Like ask a photo for a stranger, make sure to make that person say go down. Damn. That's one tip. And number two, you need to have a good lining and a location. So like when we take Instagram photos, the best lining is the natural sunlight. We try taking inside the studio with a artificial lining, but it doesn't really it doesn't come out really like vibrant natural. and natural. Yeah. yeah. But in this kind of studio where there's like a lot of like windows and stuff, it's totally fine. Yeah. And number three, a lot of our Instagram photos we take ourselves, and sometimes Mama could help us, and sometimes I have like a professional photographer for taking us because it's a big project yeah. but most of the time we take it ourselves and how we do is we use a tripod this is actually not ours ours is right now holding this camera right yeah. now but it's like exactly the same thing yeah just any tripod it doesn't matter but don't buy like two cheap ones because they will like fall when the wind blows and it will break your camera no, no, no. so this is how we set the phone on a tripod yeah. so every tripod they have this thing where you can hook your camera on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know where we got this, but this is like a thing that holds your phone. Yeah, cell phone. Yeah. And we like put this here, like this. So this is the camera side. So we put it like this, and we're gonna be facing this way. Yes. In case this camera falls, we have this little rubber band. To Cure like this so it doesn't It fall. can be a rubber band or a hair band, anything, huh? And we used to do a countdown timer to do it. But recently, my smart ass sister bought this little remote. It's called Snapshot Remote. And this was only 9,500 won. <gasps> That's wow. crazy. So basically, you just connect with the Bluetooth. Uh -huh. And then you just pose and then just go... Yeah. And they just fix it. Yeah, so we can do like multiple shots in one, one go, go rather than like have to go as the timer and hurry go back and pose, hurry go and the timer and hurry go and pose, pose, pose. Yeah. 
post? No. <laughs> in case your kids are interested, I'll put the link to this one. And so the last point that we want to emphasize is that you need to have a decent phone. phone. All the photos on the IG, we take it with our phone. But it's not just an ordinary iPhone, mm -hmm. it's Vivo. Vivo. So if you could remember, last year we went to Shanghai yeah. for the launching party of the Vivo Mix. phone. But recently they launched their new Vivo X50 Pro Plus. Yeah. This video is not sponsored, they yeah. simply just sent it to us yeah. because we have kind of like, you know, connections yeah. since last year. Yeah. And they recently launched a new one, so, so thank you so much. So this one, uh, the reason that I really like about this is that all their pictures are so crisp mm -hmm. and vibrant. This quality is so like amazing. amazing. If you don't want to invest on a professional DSLR camera, mm -hmm. but you still want that professional photography, definitely yeah. invest on this one because this is going to blow up your mind once I show you the tools they have here that's almost similar to DSLR. Oh yeah, we use this only for, for camera. camera. So this phone has 60 times hyper zoom lens that can retain the details and clarity no matter how far you zoom in. Well, let me show you one example. Right here, something that you want to tell me. Don't show it to me, okay? And you will go to the far end of this room and I'll zoom in and try to read it. Do you want to check out what I wrote here? <laughs> <laughs> so sis is right over there. She's trying to read this. <laughs> is that <a> fuck you, sis? <laughs> Another feature is the slow mo, and the frames are so soft. Yeah. And they also have a pro sports mode where it has a motion AF tracking that identifies and keep the subject in focus with high clarity. And this is something that we always needed when we take photo because when you wear a dress, you kind of want to like flip around the dress and capture the motion of the skirt. Mm -hmm. But then with our like iPhone, every time we do it, the skirts are like blurry or our hands are blurry. So with the pro sports mode, it can capture all that movement without no blurriness. So sister is setting her camera camera, make sure it is facing a little down. Like this? Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. Like this. Yes. Okay, uh, so one more tip. When there's a sunlight, try to utilize it like this. Yes. Oh, yes, commercial. L'Oreal Paris. <laughs> Okay, so hot. <laughs> so usually we take about a thousand photos and from there we use one. <laughs> so with these kind of dresses, definitely play with the flow of the skirt. Like this is the main key point. Yeah, so sometimes we like like this, this, like, like synchronized movement. Yeah. But what you gotta maintain the straight face, face, the bitch face. Could take two sister doesn't like anything so okay so i just saw it i don't like anything that means we gotta do it again do it until you get it that's our little okay. do, do it, it until, until you get it, it. One. <laughs> so our next photo shoot is a full body shot again so we need to put the tripod to the way shortest length so now when we do this type of street style look we do like you know kind of like a swag pose i'm the coolest girl in the street like give me some money Yeah. This pose really works cute. Yeah. This feet out. 
okay. and this feet back backward, and then you kind of lean, tilt, 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 like do the ab work. Yeah. And make sure the phone is kind of diagonally shooting you from bottom to up. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Go work, go work. This was our. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this is another cool shot we like to do. Like Basically kind of covering the lens yeah. with your hand, yeah. just a portion of it. Like stare at the lens. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, yes. Whoa, yes, I love this kind of shot. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, nice. And this expression looks good when you do it with two people. Ooh. So when in doubt about your pose and everything, just, just squat. squat or sit down. Yeah. I mean, look, this is pretty, but the, sometimes it looks too generic. Yeah. So they look boring. So we like to give a little, I don't know, like texture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so like, 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 like this. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, me. Oh. Uh. Like the kind of <laughs> Making a bitch face is so hard. <laughs> like, I don't know how to naturally like smile in the yeah. camera. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't really like anything, but really, you can take another one, bitch. <laughs> okay, a lot of cheaters ask us, um, how do we keep in shape? And the answer is, we do a lot of this shit. <laughs> hey, this time, why don't we not squat? But we can do something like sit on here. Sister, <laughs> 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 close your lid. Why, you bitch? She's my life. YOLO, man. <laughs> I think we can do better. What is our motto, sis? Do it until you get it, bitch. <laughs> I see your panties, sis. Shut up, you pervert. Also, oh, today is a light pink. <laughs> Another like trick is to use this kind of fabric. Like if you go to like fabric market, they'll sell a bunch of like leftover fabric for a really cheap price. Get all the colors like this kind of nudie color, pink, baby blue, baby salmon blue. color, and just make it as a backdrop. It's so pretty. So like here, they just basically hang on the wall. Yeah. So that's how you do it. It's a really good prop. Yeah. When you do upper body shot, you obviously definitely have to lengthen this up. Yeah. But, but make sure this doesn't go too diagonal or your face is gonna look really like square. Make sure it's slanted a little less than when you're doing a full shot. Yes. Always check. Let me check myself. Okay, let me check. Huh? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is why we have a rubber band. Like sometimes we have to put the phone literally, literally vertically, like right vertically, now. Yeah, then it'll fall. That's, That's why, why we have the have rubber band. Phone. So when we take photos with bags, we want to just concentrate on the upper body so that the frame focuses more on the bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you have to do is play a lot with your arm. Whether you go like this, or you go like this, or you go like, like yeah, like this. I think this is cute. Or you go like this. Yeah, like this. Oh shit. <laughs> I am too off the frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you're doing just the upper portion, uh, it's fun to do some like accessories yeah, like, like props beanies. or like glasses, just a little more yeah. details to it. Maybe like little starby. That works too. Yeah. A little Can we just take one more sis? Okay. Yeah, so it's a try or error. Cuties. There's like really no answer to it. You just do it yeah. and just Get the good one. You just gotta do what you gotta do to get a photo. I can wear this too, and I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh, do you have a password? 
That's it, kitties. That's how we normally take our IG photos. Yes. So there's no like like a deep secret to it, but I think it's really all about like trial and, and error, error and playing around with different pose, different mm -hmm. angles, motions, and I think in the end you kind of need to have fun with it. Yeah. yeah. Usually when we do photo shoot, we put on a music. And oh yes. And then like kind of go try with to rid it. Rhythm. Yeah. But I think practice makes perfect. At first we were really like rigid in the photo, but the more we do it, mm -hmm. it just kind of become natural, and we know like. Which angle looks good on us? Like for me, this is my favorite side. This is my favorite side. That's why I'm always on the left, left and I'm also on the right, right side. But to be honest, you look exactly the same. This is to be honest, you look exactly the same on here and here. No, my nose is kind of different. Like when you see this side, my nose is a little bit like eh, but this side is more pretty. That's why I like this side. <coughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to bullshit. I, I really hope our this tutorial video was at least helpful for our cuties. Mm -hmm. Yep, so hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye!